Greetings and salutations, and this is your girl, Outspoken Diva, and welcome to A Geeky Awkward Blurred It, uh, where I highlight um, some blurred it's uh, that were geeky or awkward or nerdy, blurdy. Uh, from my um, blog post, she was uh, awkward, nerdy, and geeky, and you loved her, and from... Um, the episode Talking Blurred uh from the Dope Science Show. Uh, those of you who have read the uh, blog post and uh, listened to me talk on the uh, Dope Science Show, uh, the, the links will be down below if you have not. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and today we will be talking about someone that was uh, awkward uh, in the 90s, if you thought awkward uh in the black spaces uh you thought freddie brooks uh played by Cree summers on the uh hit show a different world and now you know uh there is Issa Rae who had a whole uh web show called aqua black girl and she's gone on to have a show on um hbo called insecure and which, you know, she has come out publicly and said, you know, these things are about the people who are not uh, black girl magic. What about uh, those of us every, or every day that's not black girl magic? Well, in between Freddie Brooks and in between uh, Issa Rae's character Jay on uh, Aqua Black Girl, there was a character on the show Half and Half named Mona Thorne. Half and Half is about two sisters who were half, two half sisters who live in the same uh, apartment building. Uh, and they're, you know, life and shenanigans and all the people around them. I mean, Dee Dee was seemed to be the more glamorous one of the sisters. Uh, Mona was her awkward older sister. Uh, everyone on the show to me has very, even Dee Dee herself, they have uh, awkward moments. But that's because life, we all have awkward moments. But... Uh, Rachel True, who plays Mona Thorne, brought out, again, a person who life was awkward for her, you know, for the most part. I mean, there was a shen there are shenanigans to be had for Mona. And the reason why I have on the scarf today, uh, well, you know, I have my hair either combed or wrapped up or something on it anyway, but this time, this particular scarf, um, is because we want to discuss the episode Sister Son Soul, where uh, Mona meets a guy at a nightclub, and uh, uh, we find out that Mona does not have rhythm. Mona is a uh, works for a uh, record company. Right now, she's still, you know. Low on the to lower on the totem pole. Eventually, she becomes a spoiler alert. She becomes an A and R uh, executive, but she works for Delicious Records. She can pick out talent. She knows what sounds good. She knows how to move the needle. She can't dance though. Black people are supposed to dance, right? <laughs> Guess what? There's a reason why I uh, line dance and twerk only. Guess what? I get off beat. <laughs> if I can't if I can't get into the beat, yeah. And that's what happens to Mona. It's almost like she was dancing uh, dancing to the uh, to the words. I mean, some people are like, "Oh, they were clapping on the one and the three. Yeah, some uh, sometimes it's not even that. It's just you just go with the high feels, but society rules and the rules are you're supposed to be on beat but okay yeah okay it happens even in church i mean i don't line dance well if they come up with the right line dance into the right song i might you know do a do a little gospel shuffle there are uh, uh gospel line dances but we, that's another something um uh, even, you know, praise break music, you know, if I'm not, you know, doing my little, you know, two-step, you know, bench assisted, I'm the one holding on to the bench, two-step, then I'm just doing this. I am not trying to clap because I, I know I look awful, okay? And, yeah, Mona is on this dance floor. Let's get back to them. Uh, 
on this dance floor having the ball of her life but because she's in a black space and not dancing to on beat there's an issue well the guy that she you know was talking to and dancing with and you know they were vibing as they say you know they go back to her place and stuff you know he still kind of thinks she's odd but the i guess the straw that broke the camel's back for him was and felt he felt that she's not black enough you know was when she said that she'll rather watch uh dawson's creek over bet over watching farrakhan and stuff like that you know and that was just too much for him so you know well mona her pride is struck you know and she you know she's rejected and she decides to blacken it up and she wears a head wrap and wears more snazzier clothes Mona has an eclectic style of uh, dressing. Uh, she wears like these real chunky boots and more, mm, I guess, hipsterish uh, ways. Even her sandals, I love her sa uh, uh Executives of half and half. <clears throat> uh, the costume. If there's still some uh, sand weird sandals and uh, True Rachel True wore uh, a seven and a half eight. Because I loved her uh, wedge sandal collection. I love them. And I, if y'all know me, most of my heels now are wedge sandals. Anywho, uh, but yeah, she decides to blacken up, goes to the club. And uh, her friend Spencer and her sister, they decide to dance with, you know, dance with me. One, two, three, you know, those kind of things. And, you know, the guy, he comes back around and he's like, his name is Miles. He's like, hey, hey, you look. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then finally, she's like, you know what? You're not even worth all of that. And she decides to be Mona. And that's what we need to do is be Mona. Be ourselves. Stop trying to move the needle on what's supposed to be hip for your life. If you're awkward, you're awkward. And I salute Rachel True as Mona. As a Mona, but as Mona, thank you, Rachel True, because we need to see that. Everybody uh, is not black girl magic. Everybody's not uh, keeping to the beat. Everybody's not uh, uh, dancing to everybody, the same rhythm. If you rather listen to uh, Taylor Swift as opposed to Victoria Monet, you do that. If you rather watch, uh, I don't know what the uh, the hip um shows for you know the mainstream shows are now i'm an elderly lady because i don't have to keep up but if you rather watch that than watch housewives you go right ahead if you rather watch the kardashians than housewives then you go right ahead okay be you be your be whatever your quirk is okay if it's not harming anyone or anything or yourself then you be you Okay, and that's what I always loved about Mona. She was always herself. Okay, uh, again, salute you, Rachel True, as Mona Thorne on Half and Half. And other than that, talking to you in adult terms.